Hello, everyone. My name is Beata Dragovic. Welcome to Equity Minutes. We are going to cover your company compensation grants both this month and next. We decided to review your most common equity grants. This month, we will be talking about options, non-qualified stock options, as well as incentive stock options and their taxation rules. And next month, we will be covering RSUs, restricted stock, as well as performance shares. So let's start with options. A stock option grant will give you the right to buy a company stock at the grant price at a future date. As soon as your options vest, you can exercise them. This will happen and also will be worthwhile if the market price of the stock is higher than your grant price. This is what we call that your option is in the money. So let's see the major differences between non-qualified stock options and incentive stock options today. We will cover RSUs next month. So non-qualified stock options, there is no holding period required. As soon as your options vest, you can exercise. You will be paying ordinary income on the difference between the grant price and the exercise price. If you decide to exercise and sell, there's no more tax consequences. If you decide to hold a stock and you hold it for longer than a year, you will be paying, you will be subject to long-term capital gain taxes. As it comes to incentive stock options, there is a holding period in order for you to qualify for the preferential tax treatment that ISOs offer. You have to hold ISOs for two years from grant date and one year for exercise, from exercise date in order for, you, for them to qualify. You don't pay ordinary income taxes at time of exercise, but the bargain element, which is the difference between your grant price and the exercise price, is an AMT preference item. And in order for, for you to qualify for this, again, there is a holding period. If by any chance you sell the stock uh, faster than the holding period is required, it's called a disqualifying disposition, and you, the options automatically becomes a non-qualified stock option. I do want to point out that the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act did increase both the income exemption amount as well as the income phase out at what ISO exercise triggers the AMT. So that's definitely a, a pretty big benefit. That is what we are covering today. RSUs we will be talking about next month. So if you have any questions in the meantime on options or any other topic, please feel free to go to freedomchairfinancial.com and request a consult or you can simply email me. Hope you have a great day. See you next month.